Huh. Some kind of mail is here. Should I check it? I don't know, Dave. That could be risky. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. We are back with more Dave the Diver, continuing where we left off. If I remember correctly, some random strange girl with a sock puppet, who was very rude, mind you, came to the restaurant. Uh, we served a guy some curry, and he gave us an entire fish farm. And we were working with sea people. I think we were escorting someone to the village? And then we had to get gloves. With, all, with the recap handled, we can go ahead and check our mail. Open your phone and check your mailbox. Sure. Jellyfish party. Oh my gosh. Do you want to be rich? I do. Um, hello, residents. We have finally launched a tourism committee to promote the newly discovered mysterious blue hole. Our first event, the jellyfish party, will be held in three days. If you know of any restaurants that can serve jellyfish dishes to match the theme, please spread the word. You know, as I was reading that, I immediately thought, huh, this is very much like a Stardew Valley quest. <laughs> uh, that's all right. So that's pretty interesting. Looks like we're going to have to go catch some jellyfish, which means we might ha actually have to invest in the hush gun or the net gun, mind you, because we can't really bring back uh, that many jellyfish, let alone good quality jellyfish when we harpoon them and kill them. Okay, so that's that. I wonder if that's a side quest or if it's a timed mission and, like, I can fail it. Something new in our call. I can't activate it. Oh, okay, because I, I was still stuck in this thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, a party. What a nice-looking picture. A po ha 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 I guess they're trying to open this place for tourism. I just hope it doesn't get too chaotic. Well, it's a party held on a special day, mind you. We just need to prepare for some customers. Or for more customers. The mail said the party's theme was jellyfish. Jellyfish dishes should be popular. It's October 15th, so we have... Oh, oh my god, it's a timed event. We have three days. Ha ha ha. Make sure to prepare some jellyfish, whatever kind it may be. Let's hit the jackpot. So special customers arrive during events, prepare the dishes they like in advance, you might hit the jackpot. I'm guessing these are our special customers. Okay, so now... Oh, you can see it up there at the top right, event zero... Z okay, so that's a zero to three days. <laughs> I remember I thought that said D-Day. Okay, so... Let's finish looking at our phone updates. We got something new in our phone. We can call Otto now. He's the fish guy. Wait, I'm the fish guy. He's the fish farm guy. He's the farm guy. So now, this is the rhino fish that we caught, which was... Uh, <clears throat> not my proudest moment, hunting that majestic beast. But, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do sometimes. Shiny deep sea fish, sushi. You can't get it anywhere else. I'll give you a like. Auto 0105. I should have taken a photo. It was too good to wait. I mean, it looks like you did take a photo. There you go. Jesus, Dr. Bacon. <laughs> the ocean has such vast mysteries. I think I'm a little drunk. <laughs> Okay, Dr. Bacon again. Hmm, researching with a view of the sea feels great. And then nothing else is new. Awesome. So last thing, we got new music, apparently. Uh, Night Water. Okay, and raising fish. What a contrast. 
Oh, that's right. I just remembered looking at the phone. We also upgraded our gun to a second tier underwater rifle, which I'm hoping it kind of stays as the main staple like the basic one did before. But we won't know until we get in there. So let's jump right in. Another excellent dive by our master diver, Dave. So, let's see, we need to, what does that say? So we need to go pull a stick out of some rocks and we need some white trevally, that's right. I almost, for... well, I actually did forget about it. <laughs> uh, that is that it? And then we need to catch some jellyfish, I guess? Hold on. Is this my rifle? Looking at the bottom right, it looks like... Huh, I think it has something to say. I should record its cries and ask Ellie. Hey, Ellie, we haven't heard about her in 8 million years, uh, but I should ask her about it. Uh... Does that mean I recorded its cries? Okay, so I don't think these are the white Trevallis. So I gotta keep looking. The thing is, I don't... I don't remember where they are, though. I remember they're, like, white with a bluish kind of outline. Like a bluish-yellow outline. I know that. Oh, shark! Barracuda! Danger! But we can't we can't be bothered by that now. We we got we got some missions to do. And we can't disappoint. Okay, we got a big old chonk and tiger shark there. Which I kinda think that the white trevally is underneath this boat. I don't remember. I'm going for it though. Wait, there it is. Okay, we gotta throw down. He's challenging us, and we must answer the call. And hopefully not die. <laughs> How unfortunate would that be? We're doing good damage. Oh. Mm. Duff has outdone himself, surely. That rifle made quick work of that tiger shark. Look at that, we got our quest item. Got us some good shark meat. Okay, so this is what the kelp looks like. Here, I need more ammo. Go ahead and take that. Oh, that reminds me, we also need to upgrade my diving suit because I don't even know if I can go any further for that mermaid quest. Uh, be, I mean, I guess we'll figure out, right? I'm already down here, I might as well continue. Ooh, hello, beautiful. I want to take it so badly, but it just doesn't have enough ammo. All right, so I will see you guys when I get back to the mermaid people, because going off of my weight, this is going to take a little bit. Huh. Is that a is that pile of rocks moving around? I know exactly where this is going just from looking at that. Oh, okay, never mind, I don't. Erg 
It's the octopus from last time. It's spraying ink again. I won't let you get away this time. Just you wait. Dave, I don't know if we have time for vengeance today. However, I will go ahead and drop the rock because I am here. But what I originally thought when seeing that was... Because the last time I was down... Oh, this is heavy. It's actually dragging me down. But the last time I was here, I ran into some crabs that I really wanted to harpoon, but I couldn't. Because I imagined their shell was too hard. But now, with these gloves, I feel like we can just drop a rock on their head, and that'll make it easier for us. So swap the old one for the new one. And now... We can handle that octopus later. Let's test my theory out. Three, two, one, bombs away! Nice! Oh my god, it jump scared me. Okay, so we got the crab. It's in horrible condition because it was squashed by a rock. <laughs> and I think we are at max capacity, so let's basically see if we can even get down to our mission. Gotta watch out for these bomb jellyfish. Ooh. Uh, okay, so one more, I believe. Yeah, there it is. Wow, the gun has quite a bit of kickback, don't it? But it works well, so I ain't complaining. Okay, so we're here. I'm half tempted to get that clam for the air, but I mean, I should be good enough to handle what needs to be done. Oh, you're back, human. I was afraid you'd been eaten by a frilled shark on the way back. I haven't seen that type of shark yet. She talks like someone I know. Who could that be? Everyone's so rude. I think I'll be able to pull out the steak if I use the diving gloves from Dr. Bacon, who lives on land. Bacon? <laughs> In our language, that sounds like spoiled whale meat. <laughs> I feel like this guy's lying, honestly. Okay, okay, I get it. You're rude. Wait a moment. Let me try and pull. Alright. So... I mean, is there anything else around this area? Or is it just the rocks and a bunch of empty space? Which it kind of looks like it's just a bunch of empty space. There's another clam there, some more bullets, that's good to know. Hmm, but it just goes on and on, don't it? Let's pull that steak first. No, I want to explore. Are those jellyfish? Because if they are, that's really good to know. Because we need... Uh, apparently we need a lot of jellyfish for some event going on in three days. But I guess that's future Dave's problem. For now, we have to pull this stick out of some rocks to move some other rocks. Very, very big brain, complicated things. Ooh, get out of the way! Oh, who would have thought? It's just more rocks. <laughs> I wonder whose idea that was. Uh, it was effective, but not enough. Hmm. I think one more attempt might cut it. Human, there's another rock pile over there. Um, there's no movable device over there. I'll have to go check it out first. Are we going to have to go get more bombs, I wonder? There's nothing that can be done on this side. I'll have to try going around back. Are you kidding me? Oh, look at this. We got some... Um, so we don't have to capture things al alive. We got some tiger shark row. And white tip reef shark row. Ooh. 
So just whatever fish you catch, you get the eggs for. That's 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 pretty awesome. I was a little worried that I would have to like be messing around with just the hush gun and the net gun. And then we got one squished spider crab. Looking at quests on the way up, it said I failed the little octopus quest, which I honestly don't care about. I think it's... I feel like it's a waste of my time. Sure enough, I did get the octopus ring from it, but eh, it's probably a one-off. Now, I need to call... Emily? What's her name? Ellie, that's her name. I think, at least. Huh? What's going on? A humpback whale appeared in the blue hole. I think it might have something to say. I recorded its cries. Have a listen. Huh. It sounds like it's looking for its offspring. I wonder if you could actually tell that by the sound of a whale's cries. Like, probably, right? But wouldn't you have to be somewhat familiar with it first? Offspring! Oh, yeah, they must be lost somewhere nearby. How about helping me? What? As you're going about, if you hear a young one's cries, can you let me know? Hmm, well, I can't just ignore that. Okay, I'll take a look. Alright. We gotta find some baby whales. Uh, we got something for Eco Watch. Oh, that's right, the trigger fish. We sniped them. Got some fish tokens that don't do anything for us. Hold on. I just caught that. Left control to see rewards. Eco, poison, resist, bracelet. Okay, so we're in... It's just some more useless stuff. Now... Here's a little treat for everyone. We're going back to the restaurant early. Not to serve sushi, no. But... We have a special customer. And that customer's name is Momo. Hello, Momo. Hi. Meow. So now we can feed Momo. It's a brand new day. And we have some high-quality cat food. So here you go. I still don't like that noise. Nice, we got a little cat heart. Meow. I... Mmm... Is that it? Okay, so we're back in the blue hole. Uh, Momo was kind of a... Kind of a disappointment. I thought it was going to be something cool. Uh, hold that thought. Uh, oh, a loggerhead turtle. I don't see a turtle. A picture of a turtle is a must-have see picture. All right. Time to take a pic. I still don't see a turtle. I see a jellyfish, though, that I kind of need. Oh, I missed. I can't even get that. Never mind. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to know that? Eating a jellyfish? I mean, here, try again. I guess. Okay, I think I got it. Boom. Bingo. I got it. Do turtles really eat jellyfish? Well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> to, I can't, to be honest, I kind of thought about shooting my harpoon at it. I'm going to be 100% honest. <laughs> I know, I'm probably horrible for that. Oh, maybe it's this sound. Just my thoughts exactly, Dave. We might have a whale nearby. Oh, Ellie is here with us. Uh, yeah, that's the sound of baby humpback whales. Please, take a look around. There must be a baby whale nearby. Uh, sure. Just let me collect some ingredients beforehand. 
Oh, you can actually see it. You see those waves in the rock? <laughs> All right, so that makes it a little easy. That makes it way easier. I'm not even gonna say a little. So it's down here. Ah, the crying sound coming from behind that pile of rocks. Hmm, those stones will need to be removed to enter. Oh, oh my goodness, what a convenient <laughs> uh, stick to pull these rocks out, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. And there we have it. Stick removed, rocks collapsed, and there might be a baby whale inside. Okay, they've all been removed. Let's go. It sounds like Dave when he's disappointed. Um, go to the new region. Once entering, an event will proceed that will end with returning to the boat. Okay, so no. No, 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 no. We can't have that right now. We have some things to do. And then maybe we can go ahead and capture a singular shark, right? Because... I mean, we might as well get something out of the day, right? Ooh. Wait, hold on. My rifle is level two. But this... Oh, that's amazing. Okay. And on the plus side, it looks like after I upgraded my rifle, it stays upgraded. So that's, that's incredible. Which I actually need to use it right now because things are getting dangerous here. That barracuda was coming right at me. And I had to take him out. Ah, my leg. Okay, I gotta... I can't get too cocky, right? I got a nice gun now. And I got the skills to back it. But, I'm still just a simple Dave. I can't let these sharks overwhelm me. Whoa, what is that? What is that? It is fast and it's coming right for me. And not in the joke way. <laughs> okay, I'm being a little reckless here, swimming through a sea of jellyfish. And I just ate a electric shock for that. But I'm gonna keep pushing my way down. <laughs> now is not the time to interrupt me with a cutscene. Hmm, is this a sea people building? The door is locked. Oh, there's so many jellyfish. <laughs> so, I went all the way around. But where's the the little rock formation, I wonder? Could it be up here? Oh my gosh, jump scare. Whoa, that's a giant oarfish. Mm. Is it really picture time, Dave? If I take a picture with the blue plankton next to it, that could make a pretty nice picture. Uh, oh, that's what that thing was. It wasn't trying to murder me. Look at it, look at how majestic it is. It's like, it's like something out of Subnautica. Okay, so here's the blue plankton. It's going up towards it. Look at that. Uh, it looked better <laughs> outside of the picture, but... <laughs> okay, so... We got a, question, a picture of questionable quality. However, Dave likes it, so... I, I guess that's, that'll pass for us. And as a result... And a reward, so to say, we got a bottle of olive oil. Now, there's... I mean, I'm still looking for that rock pile. Here's a light... Lightning Harpoon tip level 3. That's amazing. I am a big fan of the chain harpoon. Just a good old classic. But when something like that drops into your lap, you kind of can't really pass it up, you know? There's another crate. Sea snake whip. Uh, it's a living sea snake. Bitten creatures have a chance to be poisoned. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll take it just to try it out. That's kind of cool. But I don't necessarily want to poison things if I can help it. So I guess that'll just be my last resort. That is pretty cool, though. It even has, like, a little bite animation. Oh, my God. What is that? It's like a flat shark. Get out of the way, quests. I'm trying to see the danger. Oh, look, look at that thing. Thank goodness it can't see us. And here I am with... Ooh, it just snapped right back towards us. I'm leaving. You know, as you're swimming through, like, the these depths, you kind of forget that... Like, unlike the shallows and, the, like, the mid-tier depth... There's not, like, designated spots for these fish. Or at least, not that I've seen yet. Hey, rubber chicken. Here we go. Is this what I'm looking for? Or what is this? Some kind of mineral that I would need the pickaxe for, but I unfortunately don't have a pickaxe. Ooh, flame sniper. Ah. Uh... Hopefully that doesn't despawn, because what I can do here is go catch at least three jellyfish. And then I can grab that rifle, head back up, fight the flat shark, and if need be, just catch the um, walkie-talkie out of here. Look at that. A comb jelly. Three stars. All right, so two more. Whoa. Don't want to get too close. All right, I can get one more. I got one more net in the in the tank. Let's investigate this if we can first. I wonder if this is their home, right? Because we're trying to get him home. Ugh. I mean, I haven't... I'm glad I uh, looked and saw this clam here because I do need oxygen. But I haven't seen any uh, like rock formation that I can pull a stick out of or something. Ooh, this is going to be a little risky because they're, they're at a height that is just out of my range. Well, not anymore. Gotcha. And there we go. We got quite a bit of comb jellyfish. Here, hold on, let me... I'm actually curious how much meat that gives us. Uh, only three. That's unfortunate, but I mean, it makes sense. It is just a jellyfish. You don't exactly look or think of jellyfish and think, like, like that's a nice jellyfish steak right there, you know? Hey, we got a pickaxe. We, we can go mine that really fancy looking rock. Man, everything's just kind of working out. I wonder if we're lucky or if this game is just really easy. Here. Think. One. Two. Three. Some opal. Alright, so we got all the opal. Our net gun is empty. Go ahead and swap out for the flame rifle. I guess we'll have to find that sea people rock another day. Because I, I just haven't found any rock formation that I could collapse. Or you know what? Let's see how this goes with the shark. And if it goes well, or if it goes poorly and we have to escape, we could just swim over to the other side. We have plenty of air. We have a spare tank. Uh, Okay, so here we go. Oh, buddy. This thing is dialed in on us. Like, I can see its head tracking us from quite a distance away.
But we are able to cheap shot him, so that's pretty nice. I don't think that's it. And you know what? I... I'm gonna risk it. I think I can take him on with my harpoon. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, so we got it. Let's go ahead and chop him up. Frilled shark meat. Hey, isn't that the shark that the mermaid was saying was going to kill us? Well, uh, would you look at that? Champion Dave. Shark dancer. Hero of the realm. Defeats another shark. Comb jellyfish organ. I'm looking in my inventory right now to see if there's anything I can drop. Because I feel like collecting this... The rest of the shark would be very beneficial. I mean, the only thing I could think of would be the white trevally. But before I even do that, I would need to drop like around 20-ish fish or 20-ish weight before I can even pick up some more stuff. So I'm just going to hold off on that. And I can't pick up anything else while I'm down here. So I guess it's just time to go home. We got a call from Mr. Udo. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? No. How, are you spying on me? Oh, a loggerhead turtle. That I swear that picture looked better when I took it. Yeah. Uh, as a child, I dreamed of exploring the waters on the back of a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I would drown myself if I really tried that. Would you? I mean, there's stories of, like... You know what, never mind. Uh, I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. 200 schmeckles. That's a giant oarfish. Yeah. yeah. I heard the fish was referred to as a god in the ancient times. It really is huge. Amazing. <laughs> I'll put your picture to good use. Uh, 200 more muns for me. Uh, there are photo spots all over the place. Thank you for your help and keep up the good work. That literally just reminded me we did. <laughs> we completely ignored the baby whale. <laughs> I feel a little bad about that. Oh well. Uh, so we got some jellyfish, so that's good. We're making some headway on that. Let's take a look at these. Colorless, transparent, and glowing jellyfish. It has wing-like turbances and eight cilia that give off colorful light. They live at 600 meters and feed on small crustaceans. Okay, that's cool. Alright. Uh, let's look at the weapon shop. We don't have enough material to make a sniper. Not that I really want to, I mean... This game seems to be extremely forgiving with like... If there's something in the area... It'll just like give you a crate with that item inside of it. Like the jellyfish, they usually have... Like a net gun or a hush dart spawn nearby. Or as we saw with the opal... There was a pickaxe and a chest nearby. So... It kind of makes me not want to upgrade stuff, but... I mean, where's the fun in that, right? I'm gonna look at the net gun. I'm gonna upgrade one, so... I'm gonna craft one and then see how it upgrades. I don't know what I was expecting. Okay, so we got the net gun. It, uh... It doesn't upgrade. Well, I mean, it goes to a medium net gun. Gun that fires the medium net, targets caught in the net will be of high grade. Capture seven fish at the same time. I don't even know how that would be possible. Like... 
there's I don't maybe there's two fish around each other at the same time I don't know how I would catch seven uh, I would get an extra net to fire let's see can I read okay so a gun that fires a small net targets kind of the net will be of high grade I want to read more about just the regular one but maybe I I mm, I don't know that kind of interesting that caught my eye 100% but I mean there's nothing really else here for me so as far as quests go we just need to serve that special food that the as the game puts it reticent girl wants and oh I don't know I'm kind of stumped about all the other stuff I mean I couldn't find the rock pile I found the baby whale but I ignored it <laughs> and <laughs> And I need more jellyfish, right? So let's just go on home and figure this out as we put the menu together. Here we are back at Bancho Sushi, which I actually want to look at the employees. So they have skills locked. How? Okay, training. Here we go. So Kyoko, this, so this is her now, and this will be her with training. Oh my gosh, her skills go up tremendously, especially like, look at that cooking appeal as well. Is it because she's been working here for a good while or what? But Ugh, I feel like this is going to raise the employment pay as well. Ah, I mean, let's try it out, right? It's well, it's a well worth investment. Nice. Kyoko's level 2. She has a light bulb. What is that about? So training Oh, she can serve drinks now. That's huge, because I suck. <laughs> That's amazing. And we can upgrade her again. Oh, I'm so tempted. Ooh, and you, I wonder if that's random. Or if that, um... Okay, so she learned drink serving. So that's probably not random, right? Training. I wonder how high I can upgrade them. My goodness. She's amazing now. She could do anything. But she's still best at serving. And best of all, she can help me with drinks. So I'm very happy about that. So Carolina, how are you doing? You don't necessarily need to be upgraded. Why is your appeal so low? <laughs> okay, you know, for someone who's like harps on her beauty she doesn't have that high of an appeal anyways let's go ahead and give her some training because that would only be beneficial to us in the long run hold on let's see what skill she has available wasabi refill that's not too bad i mean if i have kyoko helping me serve drinks uh i don't think it would be too much of an issue for me to just go over there and grind wasabi out for a little bit especially since like she's so good now at serving oh my gosh she's our best server but that's great that i looked at that because itsuki here has the worst stats possible so i'm very interested to see how she turns out which just giving her training once would do i mean a hundred percent brand new person so there we go. And let's see what else we can do for her. Oh man, her serving is higher than her cooking. Hmm. She can also serve drinks though as well. So hold on, Carolina might be taking a back seat for Itsuki. Hmm. 
Nice. So for now, she's gonna stay in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way, but she's gonna stay as a cook, as a sushi chef, sushi master. And uh, we'll see what we're gonna do with. Wait, hold on, never mind, I'm dumb. Carolina is a better cook anyways, so we can just swap the two. This is amazing! Oh my gosh! Okay, so swap you. I can't swap you. How do I... Would I remove... Okay, so I removed you. Now, can I just add her back? I can! So I will remove you from the kitchen. Put you as a server. And move Carolina as a chef. That is incredible. So now let's lastly look at James, AKA Jason. Training. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see why not. That's, that's awesome. Boom. Let's see, he has a skill. Let's take a look at it. Cooking plus cooking ability increases permanently? Hold on, so it doesn't, these aren't permanent? Well, I mean, that kind of sucks if it isn't, but... I mean, I guess, 205 cooking? That ain't nothing to shake a stick at. Alright, so he's perfect. Everyone's perfect. I'm probably gonna lose a lot of money at the end of today. <laughs> so let's put together a nice menu. That will hopefully save us from bankruptcy. <laughs> Uh, so first things first, the moray, no, not moray eel, no, we need the trevally, it's up here, uh, I'm not gonna enhance it, we, I don't believe we have the resources for that, let's make two helpings, so ten servings of the, uh, fancy fish, right, and what is this, there's a little pink, Okay, so I need to save these, because they're for the event. So I'm not going to serve jellyfish tonight. Look at that tiger shark. Uh, oh, you know what? We don't take that... Not only are we probably not going to get that many customers, but they only take one piece of sushi each. To my knowledge, I haven't really paid attention. I'm too busy uh, messing up my beer pours. But, I mean, I think you're safe to enhance here. Now that was fitting for Tiger Shark Sushi Enhancement. Now onto the menu you go. One, and we will auto supply you because you are wonderful. You know, I don't really know if it's worth gathering like just full on shark, at least not now with how my storage looks because I can only ca carry like one Tiger Shark essentially. And that's just 10 sushi. So, I mean, I guess I don't really have to fill out the whole menu board. But, I mean, it's kind of nice to see it like that. So, we got some long snout saw shark. We're going to enhance it because we got the shark to spare. And it would only be a boon to us. So, onto the menu. Auto supply. Yes. Is there anything that we have that isn't shark? Let's see, we got the white trevally, which, I mean, we could throw on there. Let's see, great barracuda, we still got. Hold on, here's this, the white tip. Ah, uh, I could enhance it, but then I wouldn't have any. Ooh. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Why not, right? So, 100% we need to serve the shark head. We can't enhance. 
serve. Nice. This might be the menu for today. Because, like, yeah, sure, there's other stuff we can put, but when you're looking at the kind of slots that we need to fill versus the, like, the price of things, it might just be good to limit the selection. We did just catch this frilled shark meat. We can enhance it once, which would be very nice. We, you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to enhance and just put what we have on the menu. Uh, auto supply. Yep. We have two more spots, but we don't necessarily need to fill them up. So let's just see how this turns out. Uh, Yeah. Here we go. Have no fear, customers. We actually have people who can pour you drinks now. Look at that. She's even faster than me to get there. Oh, that's right. I gotta take this girl her meal. Whew, I'm glad I remembered that. Don't wanna rehash of last time. <laughs> These cutscenes are really gonna mess me up. Um, which is like timings and everything. Sob, sob. Uh, why are you crying? It's too good, you censored. This is way too good. Darn it. It's so good. It reminds me of my father. <laughs> oh, what's going on here, kid? My name is Maki. I'm looking for my father. My father left to explore the depths, and I can't get in touch with him anymore. Ooh, okay. His favorite food was kombu and white trevally ochazuki, and I heard you sell it here. We actually did not sell that here until you came, so I don't know where you heard that from. I thought he might have come by. Ah, mm. uh, yeah, you know, that's a pity. I'll be sure to tell you if we see someone that looks like your father. How would we know? I, I mean, sure, it, the father would kind of look like her, I would assume, but... You know, how would we know? Uh, and what is that doll? It's a sock puppet, thank you. This is Cleon plushie. My father gave it to me before he left. I have a favor to ask. It's about the Cleon. I've never seen one in person. Could you catch one for me? Oh, that's a fish? Huh? A Cleone? Um, we can't catch something so small with a harpoon. Here we go. This is gonna unlock everything else for us. This is amazing. Uh, we, uh, yeah, we, what can we do? Here, we could use this. Ah, oh, a bug net. Hmm, I think it might work. All right, I'll give it a shot. What are you doing, you walrus? Please, Cleon, don't insult me, it, especially during business hours. Get your tights on and jump in the water. All right, calm down. Take it easy. Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't control my emotions that well yet. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Oh my gosh. Notifications. Please, I'm trying to run a business here. You can now use the bug net to capture small creatures like seahorses and Cleone, which can't be caught with a harpoon. Nice. All right, so clean this play, and then I gotta run over and handle the wasabi real fast. Boom, wasabi handled. Oh, look at me, I'm serving a plate, I'm helping. Look at that, we're really, we're doing it everybody, we're doing it. We're actually running a successful business here. 
<laughs> I'm not touching that beer because I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Thank you, Kyoko. We're gonna need some more wasabi. Nice. Look at that! What an amazing day! We did it! Much better. Look at that, we're back to five stars. You love to see that. A call from Udo. Sir, the picture you took was well received. Oh, nice. That's that's cool. I hear my superiors want to assign me another task. Ah, ha, ha. This this guy's taking credit for my pictures, ain't he? Uh, if I bring them a picture as nice as the previous ones, I have an offer for you. Do you want to join me and take a picture that will stand the test of time? That actually sounds very intriguing. Uh, and what? Uh, I got. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I had to cough. Uh, and what are you planning to take a picture of? Uh, do you know about manta rays? I do. Of course, they're they are one of the largest of their kind. I have seen one of those majestic creatures firsthand. Nice. I am planning to take a picture of them. What do you think? <laughs> All right, I'm sold. But, huh? They are nocturnal, so we need to move at night. And we need some lure to attract them. Sir, I will prepare my equipment. Could you find a lure in the meantime? Is he actually coming with us? That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know what manta rays feed on. I am sure you will figure that out in no time. I have a feeling that since we just got the bug net, they're going to be some kind of small thing like shrimp or seahorse or something along the lines of that. I will count on you then. Tell me when you've got the lure. Uh, what would manta rays feed on? Ellie is the best when it comes to ecology. Should I give her a call? Sure. I don't see why not. Uh, call from Otto. <laughs> You know, I did the Western accent at first, and then I left it off, but it kind of grew on me, so I'm going to keep doing it. Dave, the fish in the farm yesterday, they multiplied. Andy. Hurry on over to the fish farm. Andy. I've marked the sections with new fish with hearts, so they're easy to recognize. All right. Andy. Go and see for yourself. I will, thank you very much. Do any of these have the shark I would be catching? Because that would be tremendous. Oh, look at this. There actually is a shark in there. Oh. Wow. <clears throat> wow. The mysteries of nature never cease to amaze me. So we got a yellow tang, white tip reef shark, and a red lionfish. Okay. I'll tell you once the eggs hatch. Okay, so they're just eggs at the moment. They're not even... They're not fully done yet. I'll mark them with hearts if fish have multiplied. Speaking of eggs... I'm reminded of my son, who I haven't seen in a long time. Whoa, you have a son? It was a windy and rainy day. I went too far out on my ship, and the storm flipped my ship over. I haven't been able to go back to see my son since. <laughs> oh my god, is his son a bow or does he actually have a son that <clears throat> possibly died? Well, I didn't know that. Alright, I'll come by often to check. Thanks to you, Otto. I'll feel much less pressure to catch fish. Uh, if you have two or more of the same kind, there's a chance for a baby fish to be born. So let's look at this other one as well. Oh, 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 we got Tiger Shark. Imagine that. So hold on. Oh, man. So we 100% need to catch another Tiger Shark and another Long Nose so they can start multiplying in here. Whoa, look at that. Look at how cool that is. 
I could sell them or use them as ingredients. Wow, that's pretty neat. So let's just look at this one and get a better picture without the little tutorial for us. So we got the basics. We need another white tip reef shark so this can multiply as well. All right, that's awesome. Let's go back to the boat. So last thing we'll do is check our phone for all the notifications that we got. Go to cook stuff first. Maki Maki, it was amazing. She has two likes. I'll give you a third like. Uh, I mean, that looks nice. It looks simple. Okay, and that was the only new one. All right, cool. Fine by me. So to do, we actually have a to-do list now. I guess we're just that busy. Destroy the entryway. So we still need to find that rock pile. I have no idea where it is. And then we got to not ignore the baby whale. We need to find whatever a Cleon is. And at some point, we need to go night fishing so we can take a picture of stingrays. All right, cool. That ain't too bad. Check out Marinka. Look at that monster. A shark with a long eel-like body, wrinkled belly, flat head, and short round snout. Measured at around 2 meters, it dwells at depths that deep in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. It swims about with its mouth hanging open. That is kind of spooky. Spooky scary. But yeah, that's the only one new in the depths. What about the medium depth? Nothing new there. How about the shallows? We almost completed the shallows. That's kind of cool. Well, never mind. Oh, cool. We don't even have to catch like everything. We can take pictures of it. Well, that's good to know. Lastly, Eco Watch. Let's take a look. We have a new quest. The Titan Triggerfish are still being annoying, and so are the Great Barracudas. So we just, it's basically just like, um, go smack them up, huh? Show them who's the boss. And I guess we'll do that next time, because for now, that is the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Take care.